Hey everybody and welcome to part 10 of Spyro 2 Season of Flame. I know I said ice in the last episode, but let's talk to Moneybags for Lunar Ledges. You wouldn't want to leave me with nothing, would you? A mere 1000 gems will see you through this fine portal here. Now that's the spirit. There's nothing like a few gems to brighten up a day, is there? Well, let's go to Lunar Ledges after spending all that money. Where are we? Did you pick up a distress signal or something? Blimey, those stirrers have covered the landing paths with rocks. If we don't clear them off soon, any landing rockets will meet with disaster. I jump at the chance to teach those Rhinox a lesson. So, randomly we're in outer space now and we got these guys again. I what we've seen them in level 1. And, uh, you know, it's like, we don't see them again until now. Boink. Uh, we're actually going to check out the Atlas first. So we got 400 gems again. So yeah, Watertopia. Apparently Winter Mesa was before Watertopia. Uh, Celestial Plains. So yeah, when Celestial Plains, Winter Mesa, Watertopia. Wait, why is... Wa I still don't get why it's before uh, Watertopia when Watertopia is, you know... Um, like, really easy. It's, like, such an easy level. It's not even funny. There's some gems down there, but we can't get to it quite yet. God, I got, like, so many messages from people. Like, the last two episodes have been great, but now all of a sudden I got all these messages. Um, anyways. Let me just answer these real quickly. I apologize, guys. Uh, I'll have to see for that one, and... And, yeah, there we go. Just my girlfriend and one of my friend Malachi. Uh, which, if he hasn't watched my, um, Pokemon Emerald LP yet, he should. He is now one of my new Pokemon. So we got these Rabbit Rhinox. Like, I really don't get the, uh, ideas behind some of these enemies in this. Like, they're just so far-fetched, it's not even funny, man. I'm kind of hoping it's not HP that we get next, and it's, like, something for, like, beating the final boss of the game. Oh, oh god. I took damage at like the weirdest time there, do you see that? Oh well, let's get this land landing pad. So this is more like the first level. You're just clearing stuff out though, I believe this one's a little more of a maze. Can I actually get up there? No, I can't get up there from there. I think, I think what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go through like the uh, maze of enemies. Well, not the, the, not the maze of enemies, the, like, trial of enemies here, just to get to this landing pad. Ba boink Though I don't really see how there's a landing pad. They're, like, spring-loaded, man. Man, we never really make it over, uh, 2,000 gems for very long in this game, do we? I believe you have to pay him once more for the final Sheila level, and it's, like, 12 or 1,500 gems. It's absolutely insane. Okay, this guy down here is broken. Okay. Ooh, that was a close in. Boink. Oh god, it's gonna land. Oh, you couldn't get me, little rabbit. Well, technically, see, there's supposed to be Reptox. Reptox are what uh, Ripto uses, which are just a ripoff of the Rhinox. But, for some reason in this game, they thought he would use, like, the sorceresses. Darn it. That he would use the sorceresses, um... Uh, like, I guess, baddies. Because, uh, the, in, the original, uh, in the original game, it wasn't really that Ripto himself, like, attacked anyone. He only dealt with the homeworld, while everyone else, like, was dealing with their own worlds. Breeze Harbor, it was the, uh, um, what do they call them, the landlubbers? And, and stuff like that, you know, things like that, but, whatever. Sorry my commentary is off, for some reason I'm getting distracted. Uh, let me just answer this. Uh, let me just do this. I can make you some when power saves is back up. Like, I can make him shiny ultra beasts if he wants. Since that's what he wants. Okay, this guy's dead. 
I need you to thank you. There we go. And we hit him as he was spawning his attack. A boink. Also, Sheila levels don't have checkpoints. This rhino looks tough. Hey. He's blow himself up. Okay, this enemy here with the mo with the grenade, you need to get a grenade close to him and then it'll ow. It'll blow up on him. Okay, right here. Darn it. There we go. And now what you have to do is you have to get to him before his helmet fully spawns back. And you just destroy him like that. So we're good, we're good. And there we go, there's the uh, firefly, so clearly there's more to this level. And I think I hear those uh, grenade guys. Also, the D-pad is a really bad idea for this type of level. Oh wait, there's two there. BS, man. Like, that is so bad, because like, you can just get hit by that so easily. Okay, can I have a rabbit, please? No, this is just worth a 25 gem. I normally die here twice. I don't know why, but this level always kills me twice. I'll grab the firefly, I guess. And we got Kindle. Also, I don't get why, for some reason, the um, Agent 9 levels don't have uh, firefly names. So they're like any... Um, Oh, darn it, that didn't work out. Whoa! Oof. You know, I'm gonna deal with you afterward. Not if I run into him, though. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I'll probably edit out a bit of this, but anyways, let's go back. And again, each video has been under 20 minutes, I believe. Man, rabbit, why couldn't you be there earlier? The darn rabbit, man. He wasn't close enough to us. Those enemies are just bad with the way the uh, D-pad works in this game. Like, this level is actually really short. Like, it's annoying backtracking to it, but if you think about it, the level is actually notoriously short. Okay, I did some editing, so we're back up this way. I believe, yeah. Yeah, see, I had to push down for some reason, which makes no sense. Hey, where are you gonna spawn? I was in the right area to begin with. Oh yeah, I'll happily take some damage if it means him dying. I think this other guy gives me a 5. And there we go. And we did it. We can now leave and go to another level, which is probably going to be that candy lane area. And there we go. We did it. I have no drink for recording and my lip is split, so it hurts. I also ate too much pepper. And with that, we're only at 2200 gems. Okay. Now, actually, what level came first? Was it Arctic Outback or Lunar Ledges? Celestial Pains, Winter Mesa, Watertopia, Lunar... So, Lunar Ledges is before Arctic Outback as well. I feel like the difficulty is wrong in this. Now, I know where Candy Lane is. Candy Lane, I also believe, has reoccurring uh, characters from the previous game. I just want some health here first. Also, there's the Agent 9 level. This is the last level of this world, too. And my girlfriend thinks her cats hate, hate her. For some reason. So anyways, we're here. And yeah, this is music from the first game. No, I know. New characters. Psst, Spyro, we've got to keep our voices down or those Rhinox will get me for sure. 
We tried to run them out of here, but they captured us and tied everyone up. I'm the only one who got away. You've got to help us. Oops. I've got to be quieter. So yeah, I believe this one has an annoying challenge as well. And we gotta free these little elf guys. There's five more of them, so six altogether. Ah, we need ice breath here. We gotta put out the flames. Oh, we got frisbee ones. Oh, this level broke originally for me for some reason, and I couldn't kill one of the enemies. Like, he was like in a glitched out area. So we got scientist Rhinox and kid Rhinox with frisbees. I really don't get the enemy choices in half this, like half the levels, man. So I seen a frisbee. Oh, it's the guy up here. This guy is always the one that got me. Like where he was, could never find him. Also, no, you're not allowed doing that, bro. Okay, this is like message central right now, man. Oh, I hit his goo. Oh, that just sounds bad. I don't don't take it that way, guys. Oh man, so much slowdown because there's so much going on. Let's grab this guy. And we got Twilight. Now, are you from the book Twilight slash movie, or are you from like the Twilight Zone? I love the sound effect when you like put those flames out. Make like an interesting sound effect. That you really here in this game. No, you're not doing it again to me, bro. See, like, dun, dun, dun. Wait, I thought for some reason platforms were in Market Mesa. I mean, not Market Mesa, uh, Winter Mesa. I swear it's just the same level, but, um, Winter now instead of, uh, Market. We got Star. Just a simple name, isn't it? Oh god, oh, I guess I can charge into those guys. That's not very scary. Let's see how I'm gonna flame because he's too close to the ledge. I'm pretty sure we're getting close to that. Yeah, there's the checkpoint. A lot of this level is just looping around. You know what? I need to do. Wow, three laying around, so that means there's not as many challenges. We got Cal. Pretty sure that that's just short for like Calvin. Not Calvin Harris either. I feel like sometimes, though, the fairy is not really in a good halfway point. Now, let me just answer a text message before I do this part, because this part can be a doozy. So my neighbors are always in and out, but... Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, Do I want flame? I think I want flame. Hi, Sparrow. I'm trying to put together a big birthday cake for Bird. Please darn Rhinox keep eating it before I'm done. Can you keep them at bay long enough for me to finish? This one can be annoying, because this actually takes a while to do. And with the analog stick, I believe this is actually worse. Now they come from literally every which direction. Like, look at that. Like, dude. Okay, like, how are you supposed to, like, predict which way they're going to come from? You can't. I guess it's, like, preset, but... Okay, I think we're getting close to done. I think we're past the halfway mark. Whoa, he almost stole the cake. Whoa, dude. Thank God we can flame through our little buddy here and not kill him, apparently. Whoa, jeez. Onslaught much? Hurry up, are you done with the cake? Oh good, we did it. You've done it! Bert's going to have the best birthday ever. Thanks for taking care of those Rhinox Spiral. Without you, I could never have finished. Here's a magic coal to keep uh, that keeps flying out of my oven. Ooh, we're trying to bake a bug. This is Glisten. I do like the idea behind naming everything, kinda like how they did in Spyro. Every game but Spyro 2, pretty much. Well, that had creatures. And not, um call it like orbs and such okay we're on this island now and we got frisbeed in the face we got frisbeed in the face again which now means collecting gems will be annoying because you got to stand on them because Spyro's hitbox is really actually tiny for picking up gems 
You only got one more of those guys to go. Well, we died, but that's actually kind of beneficial. I don't know if we got a reef. Okay, you don't actually have to reflame them. Or, I guess, like, in this case, cool them down. Which is good to know. Also, there's a key. I didn't realize there was a chest. I don't even know what they're doing, like, what they're making. Something green and slimy. Alright, we got an island over here. Whoa, 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 we got our kid. I'm pretty sure you're, like, the enemy that always disappears on me for some reason, but we got him. Oh, there's another one laying around? Shimmer, was that four? Is there literally four and then, like, the two objectives? No, there's four and three objectives. Oh, okay. That's actually really, really short and easy. I'm not complaining, but this level is a little different than I remember it being, like, in difficulty. I also, also thought that cake one was supposed to be a lot harder. Like, last time I recorded it, maybe I was just having a bad day and just was very unlucky. So your guys' attacks, like, hit me way across the entire screen. And this should be the last little guy there. That's the last elf. So are these supposed to be like the Keebler elves? I'm pretty sure they are. And there's the last cupcake. Which gives us Aurora. I wonder if that's a girl. I guess you can't assume genders, but... I know there's supposed to be an area where I have to glide to. Is it this way? Um, I guess we can get... Psst, thanks for rescuing everyone. I'm going to stay quiet just in case more, any more of those goons show up. Here's a special candy I found for you. Watch out, it's still hot. Ow, oops. Shh. And here we go, we got Flash. Flash Gordon. Or is it The Flash? Not entirely sure which one he is. Wait a minute, there's an island over there. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, not this again. I knew this was bound to happen. It's been a while since we've had a missing gem. But there's lots of green laying around, so just look for green. No, we don't need any health, so that's good. There's just a little elfie. No big deal there. Oh, so you notice that none of the challenge portals have gems in them anymore. I think like the one did. Oh, there it is. That was easy. The level's now complete. Beautiful. I think we have Haunted Hills left. Or Haunted Hill. And then um, we have... Wait, there's only 300 gems there. We have Haunted Hill, and then we have the Agent 9 level. So we'll probably do the Agent 9 level first. So we have 2,500 gems. Now that has to be, like, the first level, right? Okay, yeah, it is. Candy Lane, then Winter Mesa, then Watertopia. Watertopia. Um, the Agent 9 level was what? In the middle? Yeah, so in the next episode, we'll be doing Rumble Jungle, which I believe is one of the levels that breaks. Actually, this might have been the level that breaks, not Minty Mines or Alpine Abode. I think it's Rumble in the Jungle. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe while we go do Rumble Jungle and probably um, Haunted Hill in the next episode. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.